So what we've got here is a Glowworm Ultracom 224CXI. We've got low pressure here, boiler doesn't like it. So I'm going to show you how to top up the pressure on this. So we come underneath the boiler and it's got the integral filling loop. And basically what we have to do is, this is your air brake. So this has to be pushed up and then turned to lock into position. And once it's locked, it won't move. And then this is your cold mains in, and this is your heating side. So what I like to do is I like to fully open the heating side so you can use this crappy plastic cap thing to turn it, which is a bit naff, but it does it. So I fully open the heating side, and then there we go, we don't want to overdo it because it can be tough. And then we come over to the cold side and we open that very slowly until we can hear the water start coming through. There we go, there we go. Water's starting to come through. And we have a look at this. Pressure's starting to go up and we're aiming for anywhere between one and 1.5 bar. And then when we are there, I'll leave it at one for the moment. Come back down, fully shut off the coal side. Now try not to overdo it because it will make it harder to undo it next time. So that's fully off. And then we move over to the heating side and we want to fully close this one. And that is off. And then we can, if we want, we can disconnect the air gap so that there's no chance of it contaminating the drinking water. That's what it's meant to do. But if you left that connected up, that wouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, what else you can use is, I've got an, an eight mil hex key and that will go into there and you can turn that like that, so eight more. And that's a perfect example of what happens if your, your air gap is down. What it will do is if either of these are left open, you'll get water pissing out. And the same applies to the cold, but that'll be cold mains. So, yeah. Sometimes better to just leave this fully up a bit, a bit more difficult trying to do it one handed. <laughs> Easier said than done. I'll sort that out when I get a chance. So pressure's dropped that down, but I'll top that back up in a moment. And that's how you top up the pressure on your Glowworm Ultracom 224CXI.